Hi everyone, happy Monday. My name is Laura Milligan and this is my weekly Facebook Live. Um, thank you for joining me. If you are here live with me, welcome. If you're watching on the replay, welcome to you as well. Um, I appreciate all of you watching and I hope you had a good weekend. Um, we did a really fun thing, my daughter Sarah and I, and Lucy, and you all know Lucy, um, we did this really cool thing where we got to hand feed chickadees, and it was in the wild, they're wild, wild little chickadees, and they actually came and landed right in our hand. I'll have to share a picture, I'll, I'll share a picture of that um, when I'm done, when I'm done here, but it was really fun and something that I've always wanted to do. And they actually came and landed like right on our hand and took the food. It was so, so cool. So that was kind of a highlight of my weekend. So let me know what you did. Did you do anything fun? See any good movies or anything? Um, if you're there, please give me a shout out so I can say hi to you and welcome you. Um, I have some really pretty projects to share with you today um, using the fragrant, fragrant flowers bundle. It's kind of a tongue, tongue twister. Fragrant, oh, I can't even say it. Fragrant flowers. And um, that is a, actually the class, the bundle that Sherry and I are featuring this month in our class to go. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of that and tell you what's involved in that class after I stamp a couple of cards for you today. So I see some people signing on. Um, Debbie, Mary Jo, Susie, Carol, Colleen, Tina, welcome everyone. I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera view down so that you can see my hands and let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, last week I made um, the Valentines, the three-dimensional Valentines, and those are kind of hard to send in the mail. So instead, I just picked this card and um, it says, I love that we are friends. This is such a cute card and it uses the, the bundle. It's kind of like the Valentine theme and the heart punch that goes with this Country Lane Boutique, I think is what it's called. Um, that might not be exactly the one, but anyway, um, you can, the, the punch is gone. Um, it is sold out, but I think it's coming back, but not till like April. But anyway, you can do, you can still make some really cute cards with this suite of suite of products. It has really cute paper and I love this one. It's kind of covered up, but it's this cute little, by my bow, but it's a cute little bicycle with basket of flowers. And so I decided I would give this away rather than those candy treats. And this is going to my friend, Marsha. And Marsha, sometimes she watches live. I don't know if she's on here today. Oh, am I freezing up again? I reset all my devices. Hopefully I'm not, but uh, Marsha, I do love that we are friends and I have a cute picture. Well, Marsha has a cute picture of herself um, riding on an old fashioned bicycle with a big basket like this. And so this is a perfect card um, for Marsha. So that will go to you, my friend. Um, okay, so today, well, and also let me mention, if you place an order through me this month, I am off, if you use this host code, and your order is $50 or more, you will receive a pack of the Iridescent Pastel Gems. You can see mine are well used, well loved. I'm actually using them today on my cards, but you will get those for free as a thank you from me for placing an order through me. And I do appreciate those orders. Um, okay, so let me show you the bundle that I'm working with today. It's the Fragrant Flowers. I have to think every time I say that. And then these are the dies that go with it. This is found in the mini catalog on page 21. I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous set. Um, I love the big bold words. And then there are also some smaller ones, friend and love. I love friend, um, but really, really pretty. And it coordinates with paper in the celebration catalog you can get this coordinating gorgeous gorgeous paper um free with a 50 dollars order so if you purchase this bundle you can get this coordinating paper for free this paper goes away well it's always while supplies last but at least through if, if it's available um 
celebration ends the end of February. So we never know if something's, you know, close to selling out or not, but it is beautiful, beautiful paper. Marsha, I don't know if you saw, I see Marsha popping on now. I drew your name for this card, Marsha. Um, it's not what I made last week, but it's a Valentine card nonetheless. And um, you were the lucky winner. So I will get this to you. Um, so back to this, I, I think this paper is beautiful and I feel like, you know, we all are loving and swooning over this dainty flowers paper in the celebration brochure. I feel like this paper is being overlooked. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So let me show you a couple things that I've done with this. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you the paper. Now the paper comes 12 by 12, but I have cut this six by six just to show you. Um, and so you can see on one side of the paper, there are some beautiful floral images. That, and then if you flip it over, let me see if I can do this. On the back are some really beautiful, um, Geom I would call them geometric patterns in just beautiful colors and, and they they go really, they complement each other really nicely. So that is the paper. And then the other thing that's really cool about this paper is that it coordinates with the dies. And so let me bring this 12 by 12 piece in and see if I can, I'm gonna pull this these dies out. So this big die coordinates with this big flower here. I love that I love when we have dies that cut out the designer paper because it makes it so much easier for us when we're creating a card. So it will go with this. It'll also go with this one. You just flip it around there. So it goes with that. And then there's a smaller die here that goes with this flower. I'm using both of these on on my cards today that I'm going to make. And here's one in the coral colors. So, so pretty. So that I love, I love that coordination. I think that's great. Okay, let me put, get this tucked away here. Okay. I'm gonna set this aside. So, all right. So my first card, this is a fun card and pull out the pieces here and I've already done my die cutting just to save a little time and I like I say I always assume that you know how to die cut how to use a die cutting machine if you don't let me know because I'm happy to um, explain that sometimes I do the die cutting when I'm live and sometimes I just do it ahead of time I think it it just speeds things up a little bit but for this car first card I am using a fresh freesia card base and let me see if I have my ribbon here. <laughs> well, I know I had it somewhere. Let me see if I can find my fresh freesia ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So my card base is four and a quarter by eight and a half, by five and a half, but I'm sorry, by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So that is my card base. So I'm gonna take this and I have a Stampin' Up! ruler. This is from years and years ago. People always ask me where I got this ruler. Um, it was from Stampin' Up! And I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm going to make just a little tick mark um, right up here at the top, a quarter of an inch in. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom and make a, again a little tick mark at the one inch point. This is gonna be covered up. You actually don't even need to do this. If you wanna eyeball it, you certainly could, but I kind of like having these guides as I'm doing it. And so I have two pieces of the designer paper. They are both cut four and a quarter by five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna start, um, with this piece. This piece I think is really pretty and I think it complements this piece really well. This one almost looks like it has a blue, a hint of blue to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my paper 
inside these two tick marks. So there's the quarter inch and then down here's the half inch. So I'm just gonna angle that like that. So let me add some adhesive. Look how pretty that, that side is. I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm actually gonna just, I'm gonna go like this. Whoops, oh, there we go. I think I squeezed my glue too hard. Um, you know what, I'm gonna get a little scrap paper here. There we go, I'll just spread that around like that. Now I got glue probably for every part of the project that I'm gonna make, probably more than enough, but okay, so now I'm gonna, oh, there's a little fleck on there, a little fleck of glue, I think, okay. All right, so I'm gonna line that up there and then I'm gonna angle this so that it covers up both of those tick marks. So the bottom one down here again is at one inch and the, the one up here is at a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna add another piece of designer paper on top of this, but what I like to do is just trim this off as I go. So I'm gonna just follow the lines of my card base and just trim along here. And then I may have to add a little bit more glue. Okay, so there we have that piece. And I think it's adhered. Add a little bit of glue just under here on the bottom flap, like that. Okay, so there we have that piece. Now I'm gonna take the floral piece I'm going to angle this and there's not really any rhyme or reason to this. I want to make sure, of course, that the corners of my um, designer paper are within, of course, the, the, the body of the card, the front of the card. But I, I think that looks pretty good just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to this. Just gonna put a little bit and then, I guess this goes this way. Yeah, this has a top and bottom. I didn't really think about that. Okay, so I'm gonna just do this. Just gonna kind of eyeball it. Looks pretty good like that. I want a little bit of that fresh freesia showing at the bottom. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So you really don't see a lot of this piece be beneath it, but I think it's a pretty contrast. And then, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna get glue everywhere today. It's just one of those days. Okay, so now I'm gonna just trim this excess off. And again, I'm just following along the base of my card. You could use a paper trimmer for this. It would be a little bit quicker, but okay, so there we have that. And I think that looks like it's adhered quite well. I'm gonna take this piece and flip it over because it's sticky. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this piece, and this is one and a quarter inch by four and a quarter. I'm gonna place this across the front of my card. Um, and you can see how it sort of pulls so that you notice that, um, that paper behind there. I, I think this is a really pretty pattern. Before I do that though, I have taken, this is the um, stylish shape die. This is the largest circle. And I'm gonna just adhere this right on the front of this card. I think it softens up these flowers a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that here just kind of in the middle. And I put a lot of glue there. It's not gonna show because I'm gonna be covering it up with this. So I'm gonna do that part next. Oh, Debbie says my shirt would make pretty paper. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do, just kind of center that on the circle as best I can. And then I'm gonna do a little stamping. So I'm going to take, this is one inch by four and a quarter. It's gonna go, oh, you know what? I got this on a little bit crooked. Let me see if I can straighten this up. It's just not quite on that edge. I think it's, it's close enough. It sticks pretty fast. 
I like to use the glue because you have a little bit of wiggle room, but that one's already dry. It's not gonna move, but this is gonna be fine. You'll get the idea. So I'm gonna stamp um, the word hello, big bold greeting, which I love, and I'm gonna use Evening Evergreen ink. And I'm gonna stamp this a little bit towards the right-hand side of this panel. Okay, there we have that. And this is just going to go right on top of this designer paper strip here, like that. Oh my gosh, I have a bird feeder right outside my window and there is a giant squirrel, <laughs> a very chubby squirrel eating all the bird food. Um, he's, he's jumped up there, he's kind of like looking in, maybe he wonders what's going on in here. Um, then I'm gonna take a piece of my fresh freesia ribbon and make a bow. I don't want it to be too big. And that's gonna go right on here. Let me fix this a little bit. Okay, so what I do when I make my bow, I like to, um, to when I need to adjust the loops a little bit, I just hold my thumb and um, index finger here and, and then I can pull the bow without loosening up the knot. Okay, and I'm going to trim this a little bit. Okay. So that's going to go right on here. And I'm going to put that on here with the glue dot. So let me bring in a glue dot. Yeah, this ribbon is really nice. It's really nice to work with and... Um, it makes real nice bows. Okay, so that's gonna just be stuck right on here, like this. And then I'm going to take my little die cut flower, and I have cut this directly from the designer paper from that piece that I showed you. It's one of these right here, and you can see they're all there are quite a few of these on the paper, the coral and also then the purple purple ones, I'm using the purple ones, and that's gonna just rest right here. So I'm gonna take some dimensionals, and let me see, I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put these so that they are not where the knot of the bow is. And actually, before I adhere this, I'm gonna take my bone folder and just curl these leaves up a little bit. And I could actually go around the whole flower. Okay, and that gives it a little bit of dimension. And then that's gonna just rest right there, like that. So there we have the card. And then of course we wanna add some embellishments. And so I am using, these are the iridescent pastel gems. This is what you get as a free gift from me with an order, this qualifying order this month. So I'm going to take my um, take your pick tool and it's kind of interesting. Remember when I said that this paper sort of takes on a blue tone and when I held these up, I was trying to figure out which gems I wanted to use and I actually kind of liked the blue. I thought, I thought it looked pretty with this. I could also use this clear color, but I think I'm gonna put a couple of these do one right there. See how it kind of takes on the tone. It almost becomes like a greenish um, tint. It has a greenish tint to it. I'll put the other one right there. And there is the front of our card. And then for the inside, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I have a little strip of designer paper left. This is four and a quarter by one inch. And I'm just gonna attach that to the bottom here. Actually, you could use either side. I'm gonna use this geometric pattern on this one. Okay. Yes, 
Yes, the paper, you're right, Marsha, the paper is so much prettier in person. And I think once you kind of see it in action, um, I feel, like I said, I feel like it's something that's being missed. Everyone's talking about the, you know, that dainty flowers paper in the celebration, which don't get me wrong, I love that. I think it's gorgeous. But I think this paper is equally, I think it's just beautiful. So, all right, so there is my first card and the inside pretty quick pretty fun it, it's a kind of a different way to use designer paper on the front of your card so i'm going to set that one aside and i have another pretty card that i want to make for you today this one so let me get out all my parts and pieces this one has a lot of parts and pieces um but it's very fun okay so i've done some die cutting this I actually fussy cut from the designer paper. Okay, so what I did, let me get organized here a minute. Okay, let me just get everything all lined up here so I know what I'm doing. I have cut two um, circles from the Stylish Shapes dies. These are the dies that I also used for my first card to cut the um, vellum. Okay, so I am using a quarter sheet as my card base. This is Calypso Coral. It is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm gonna build the entire card on this. Then I have a piece of, here's all my, here's all my measurements. Um, I have a piece of designer paper and this is 12 inches across. The paper comes, as I said, in a 12 by 12 pack. So I have cut this five and a quarter inches tall by 12 inches. Well, I didn't have to cut it 12 inches across, but it was, so it's just five and a half inches across. So you could get two of these out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And then I have scored this, taken my trimmer, I've scored it at four, well, it'd be four inches and then eight inches. Let me grab. Let me just show you, I'll, I'll bring this in so you know. Um, so my, our trimmer, I'm gonna pull the arm out for this. Okay. So our trimmer, as you know, has this scoring blade. So what I did was, because it's 12 by 12, I wanted to score it in thirds. So I've scored it at four inches, just run it down like that. And then I brought it over to eight inches and scored it there. So it's scored into thirds. Oh, Jennifer says her favorite color is purple. Well, you're in luck with this paper, Jennifer, because it's it is beautiful, beautiful paper. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the front panel. So this is gonna fold up like this. So this is a tri-fold, and I think so many of us are afraid to use our designer paper. We wanna hang on to it. Um, but I know that if you're like me, you probably have a big stash of designer paper and I'm here to just say, cut it and use it because you can always get more. We are always coming out with beautiful papers and don't be afraid to cut it and use it. That's what it's for. Nothing wrong with collecting it, right? I have a great collection of designer paper and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. But if you have it, why not use it? So I'm gonna start with a word, my word panel. This is also from the Stylish Shape dies. And I think I have those, yep, here they are. So it's, it is, oh, you know what? It's not from that. Oh, you know what this is from? Hold on, let me find it. Give me a second here. This is from the Fragrant Flowers. That's this die. And then my two circles are from the Stylish Shape dies. It's the, the two larger ones. And I love that these have that paper piercing look all around them. I love that. I think it's really really cute it's just an another added detail all right so i'm going to start i'm using the word hello again i could use thanks um this could still be a thank you card but okay so i'm going to go ahead and stamp hello right there and you know what let me just point out one thing 
I have actually trimmed these. Um, they had quite a bit of excess rubber around them. So I just took an old pair of my, we used to have craft and rubber scissors. We used to have to dye, trim around all of our stamps, all of our stamped images. We don't do that anymore, but every once in a while I get a stamp that has a lot of like excess rubber around it. And you pick up like what we call a halo. And to avoid that, I trimmed, I just took my, um, an old pair of craft and rubber scissors and trimmed the excess rubber around so that I didn't pick up ink that I didn't want. Okay, so this is going to just be attached here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then I'm going to trim off that little edge. Okay, put that just about right there like that. Give that a press and I'm just going to trim this off. Look how pretty the back side and I love I love the way these patterns work together. I think they're so so pretty. I'm just trim this off like that. Okay, and then I have Okay, where did it go? I feel that when I'm doing this, things hide. I think there's like gremlins or something around here that take things now. I'm just kidding. I So I've already um, die cut this, this paper right from the designer paper with my dies. I have done a little swirl and I did this ahead of time and I thought you might want to see what it looks like from behind and you can, I just kind of swirl it around and then I use the dimensionals to hold it in place. So that's the back view of that. That of course is something no one will see. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this large circle. And put that right there. It's a little bit uh, to the to the left not completely centered. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add this piece and it's gonna go right on there like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the backing of my dimensionals off. And you know what, I'm gonna add another dimensional there because that is moving around quite a bit and I wanna make sure that that's secure. Okay, so we'll pull that off. all of these off. Use a lot of dimensionals. I see Sue says hello from Ohio. Alice, hi from Indiana. Hi everyone. Okay, so this is just going to be like this. I'm going to just adjust it a little bit and that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give that a press. So there's the front of my card. I'm gonna go back and add some embellishments. Well, you know what, why not do it now? I'll just do it now while we're working on the front. So I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and use a couple of these gems. Put one there. One there. Okay, so there's the front of my card. Now I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna decorate each part of this card. So the next part, I'm going to take, as it opens up, I'm going to take the second largest circle um, from the stylish shape dies. I'm going to go ahead and attach that. This will be a fun card to get in the mail because it just, you know, we keep adding more and more and it's, you open, you see the card and it's so pretty and then you open it up and there's something cute here and then we'll put something on the inside as well. So I'm going to put this here like that and then I'm just going to stamp the word friend also in evening evergreen ink. Let me pull this down so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So this, you could pop this up. I'm going to just adhere it flat. And again, before I put the glue on, what I should have done, and I think I can still do it, 
I have glue all over my fingers today anyway, so I'm just gonna <laughs> give this a quick little um, curl with my bone folder. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so we have our ends. The edges are curled up just a little bit. You really should do that before you put the glue on, but I just had that thought after I had already stuck it on there. And then I think I'm gonna add another gem because why not? <laughs> we put that right there. Look how cute that looks. And then you're gonna open it up and on the inside, I'm going to use, I have two pieces. I have a piece of Calypso coral and this is three and three quarters by five. And then I have a piece of basic white, which is three and a half across by four and three quarter inches tall. And I'm going to use the large, this large image here and just stamp a bit of it in the corner. Also with Evening Evergreen, since that's what I have out. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this. I'll do it about right there. Okay, and look how pretty. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. I love, I love this stamp set. But like I said, you wanna get this while you can, during celebration, so that you can get this beautiful paper. Cause it will be gone when celebration is over, if not sooner. So I'm gonna put that like that. So let's just go ahead and adhere these layers. Calypso coral. And then this, and then this is where, of course, you would write your greeting. Okay. And I think, you know, let me pull up in my little drawer here. I think I have, yes, here's an envelope. And I think before I do anything more, I'm gonna ink up this big um, stamp and just stamp. Oh, you know what, this isn't even the right size envelope. Hold on. I think that was <laughs> that was an envelope, here we go. That's an envelope for our memory and more cards. We have two different sizes of those and they're, one of them is a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's get this right here. And there we go, look how pretty. It's such a beautiful, beautiful stamp. Okay, so I'm pretty much done, but I think I'm gonna add another gem. I think it would be pretty. Let's just add, I don't know, where do you think? I think I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, you know what, I think I'll put it right there. Okay, let me give this a press to hold that down a little bit. Okay, so we have that, we have that, and then we're going to put this on the base of our card, like that. So let's just add some adhesive. And again, it's a great way to make use of a 12 by 12 piece of designer paper. Um, it's kind of a, I guess you could call it a trifold card. I don't know if that's the official name or not, but um, okay. And then you know what? I have two gems up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more right here by my um, hello. Put it right there like that. Okay, there we go. So there is, card number two. Hello, friend. And there you can write your little note. I hope you'll give this card a try. I think it's really, really fun and pretty. So there are my two cards. Here's the other one that I made. And you can see what a difference, the beautiful purples and then the beautiful corals and pinks. And this envelope would look pretty with this card as well. So those are my two cards. I Before I switch my camera view up. I wanted to take a minute and um, talk about the class to go that Sherry and I are offering. It is featuring the Fragrant Flowers Bundle and it is a six card class. You will get six different ideas. Um, here's a peek at the cards and I think they are just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Here's a fun little technique I'll teach you how to do. Um, we do a little bit of embossing on this card, you can see, and um, 
let me just show you what is included in the class. So you would get, um, if you buy the bundle, which would be the dies and the beautiful stamp set, you will earn a celebration reward. And of course, for this, you're gonna to wanna to do the fragrant, the, um, oh my gosh, wait, what's the name of it? I've got it right here. Flavored, favor, <laughs> favored flowers and fragrant flowers. It's kind of a tongue twister, right? Um, but if you add the bundle on, I give that to you at catalog price, which saves you tax and shipping, and you would earn a package of this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Um, also included in the class are two different dimension, two different um, embellishments. Excuse my reach here. Um, we use the opaque adhesive back gems, and then also the little firefly or lightning bug trinkets, which are super, super cute. So you get both of those and you get a bolt of this beautiful fresh freesia ribbon. Um, so you can, there's a couple options for this class. You can just get the class kit, which would be um, a sampling of the designer paper and then the gems and the ribbon and the kits to make six cards. Uh, we include a PDF. I email that to you when the class registration closes. And um, it includes all the measurements and a video for each of the cards so you can stamp right along with us. And I, I'll just have to say that um, on Saturday, I made the videos for my three cards and then Sherry had sent me the videos for her three cards. And I just spent time Saturday afternoon following excuse me, following along with her and her videos and made her three cards and I had the best time. It was so much fun and I love being able to stamp right along with, with you. And I will say the cards in this class are absolutely stunning. You do not want to miss this class. Um, and so then, like I said, if you add on the bundle, so the basic class fee is for the class kits, the PDF, the two sets of two different gems and a bolt of ribbon is $35. If you need shipping, priority shipping is $8.50. I can ship anywhere in the United States. And then you can also add on the bundle at catalog price. So that does save you a little bit in tax and shipping. So I hope that you will consider taking this class. I also am offering an add-on, which is the Easter Bunny class. Um, I've got to change my registration. You can um, you do that as an add-on class, but I know that a couple people asked me about just purchasing the Easter Bunny class and I will make that happen. I just haven't gone in and changed the registration, but the Easter Bunny punch bundle is on low inventory. So if you're interested in that, all I can say is register quickly because you don't want to miss out on that. Okay, you will need to supply for your class this class to go your own inks um, and we used crumb cake fresh freesia blackberry bliss tuxedo black and versamark and and we do heat embossing on one of the cards we use black embossing powder the heat tool i use the embossing essentials kit which is something new that i really love and those are all um, add-on options so um, i will put a link to that class. Um, you can email me if you're interested in registering. And I hope that you do because like I said, the, the projects are striking. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed um, this time together. I always enjoy it. I love to read your comments. I read every single one. And so thank you for watching. If you're watching the replay, thank you as well. Don't forget to leave a comment or share this if you think you have friend, crafty friends that might enjoy watching this Facebook Live today. Um, I draw a name. I will be giving away these two cards that I made next week on Monday. So I will draw a name of someone that commented today. So be sure to do that. And um, I will look forward to seeing you again next Monday. Um, and as always, whoops, let me get my camera going here. I hope you have time to be creative today. Take care, everyone. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.